Right, time to get serious. If you want to know about the real history of Mass Effect, then magically there's going to be a video just floating around on screen now. I mean, I can't see it. It'll be added in post. It's called technology. Just accept it and click it. The point being, that's not what we're here to discuss today. We're here to discuss the fact that Mass Effect Andromeda is not the greatest game to ever have been born out of a developer's, well, thingy. Do developers have a, a thing? Is that how games are made? I mean, it doesn't seem to make any sense, but it's got to, right? There's no other way. If you want to create something new, you bore it. You give birth to it. And there's only one way I know how to do that. You know. Anyway. So, by now you're about to play Mass Effect Andromeda, or you're already playing it because you're a dirty thief who got it early and doesn't care about the rules. You've seen those adverts in the cinema. You wouldn't steal a car, which you wouldn't. And of course, that is exactly the same as a retailer sending you a game early, you opening said game and deciding to play it after you spent your hard-earned cash on that game. Exactly the same. I hope the cops arrest you and throw your ass in jail. I already know what you think of it too, because you're obvious. You don't do anything different. So here's a reenactment. Oh, I can't believe it. This is the best game I've ever played, but rather than play it, I've got to go on Twitter and social media and let people know that I think it's the best game I've ever played. Because if people don't know I'm the biggest fan of that series, how am I the biggest fan of that series? It's like the whole thing about a tree falling in the woods. If people don't know I'm the biggest fan of this series, then I cannot be the biggest fan of this series. So screw playing it. I'm just going to tell people instead. Idiot. There's nothing I can do to stop you feeling this way either because you're either a fanboy or a fangirl. E.g. a moronic sheep that just follows the crowd because they can't have any thoughts of their own. Do you do that with food too? Just shove pineapple into your face because you think it looks cool even though your insides are dying and you despise the damn thing in the first place? No? Then why do you do it with games? Because you don't understand how the real world works. Life isn't about League of Legends, you idiot. Delicious fruit aside, Mass Effect Andromeda is a sci-fi shooter. You're given a pew-pew gun, you fly a ship, and you exist among the stars. Well, you know what else is a sci-fi shooter? Gears of War. And if you're coming into Gears of War territory, prepare to be burned. Thusly, let's turn to Exhibit A. While Mass Effect does offer a large range of weaponry choices, none of them have a chainsaw attached to the end of the barrel. Let me repeat that. None of them have a chainsaw attached to the end of the barrel. Zero. None. Not one. What horse shit is this? Are you telling me that a developer that had utter creative control and can do whatever they wanted decided against putting a chainsaw on the end of a gun? What's worse is when you find out the alternatives. Assault rifle. Shotgun. Pistol. Am I asleep yet? Because I'm f***ing board. You've said it in space, dingus. You've literally allowed yourself to do whatever you want, whatever pours from your mind. Come up with a gun like the capacitator that capacitates. Capacitate. 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 It's not a word. Listen to what Gears of War has. Lancer. Boomshot. Nasher. Snub. Scorcher. Longshot. The Hammer of Dawn. The Hammer of Dawn. That sounds like a piece of equipment that could end the human race as we know it if it fell into the wrong hands. What do you want me to do with a pistol? Shoot someone in the penis? Ooh, whoop de doo Here's my 50 pounds so now I can fling a bullet into somebody's dong. There's more too. We've mentioned before that Mass Effect's big thing is that you can have a chat in it. A chin wag, a conversation, an exchange back and forth. That's so mundane, I'd rather rip my own face off and pretend I'm either Nicolas Cage or John Travolta. That's not its biggest crime though. That comes in the form of what it's hiding, the lack of skill that's present here. Wanna know why this is such a big thing in Mass Effect? Because Bioware couldn't be asked to come up with characters that stood out as individuals or had their own mind. They wanted you to attach your own personality to these people and believe you me. You ain't no video game character. If you were featured as the lead in a game, sales would fall through the floor. I mean, honestly, you couldn't even be a sidekick 
in a kid's cartoon series. Even SpongeBob SquarePants' mate has more than you do. What was his name? Gerald or something? Gopher? Garrett? Go Go Player? Goro? Gordon? Jeffrey? G.I. Joe? Gaga? Garfield? Garden? Gate? Genji? George? Ghost? Gex? Gladiator? Gitaru Man? Goldust? Gangrel? Goldberg? Greg? Graham? Golga? Glenn? Gary? That's it. Gary, who's a snail. And you're worse than Gary. Shit, it's Patrick, isn't it? This is a disgrace, however. You think Marcus Phoenix doesn't know what to say at any given time? He always knows what to say, even when he's taking his size 14 boot and slamming it into a locust's head. Or taking a moment to remember his best friend Don, a real man who died in a real war that resulted in real sadness and real tears. These are well thought out, believable people who don't come across as massive space nerds. Look at the main character of Andromeda. He looks like he just fell out of a 1990s boy band and that he's forgotten how to shave. That's who you want to pretend you are? This schlub? A guy who isn't even familiar with Gillette? The best a man can get? And yes, other hair removal blades are available. Let's just do a comparison for one second. Bodybuilder? Crossfitter. Bodybuilder? Crossfitter. And I think we all know the score here. It's one nil to me. Which means you just lost again. So just another ordinary day for you. Which brings us to the main event of the evening. Or the day if you're a slob who isn't at work or at school. You disgust me. Either way, I'm referring to the moon buggy. Also known as the Nomad. You kidding me? Who drives a buggy anymore? I tell you who. People that play golf, a sport where you take a stick and whack a ball into a hole, or Neil Armstrong, and he only drove a damn buggy because yes, he went to the moon to play golf. There is no golf in Mass Effect, and it's a useless contraption anyway. Look at the thing. It's like my first Lego creation, or what a child comes up with when it's trying to replicate the Batmobile from Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy. And sure, a proud parent may pat them on the back and then stick this drawing on the fridge, we're not talking about a kid here. We're talking about a multi-million pound development studio. That's the best you've got? Fridge drawings? I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. Literally. So even if it was the last vehicle on Earth, I would let everybody know not to put me in it and just to drag me to my grave instead. Yes, this would be hard because I'd already be dead, but I'd make it happen because that's how serious I am about this hunk of crap. Now, the alternative. This is Gears of War's Armadillo, a tank that could rip through your house faster than Dota 2 rips through your wallet. End your existence. Stop playing it, for goodness sake. But you're not messing with that. You're going to be intimidated, scared, afraid. When this white block from Mass Effect chugs up to your front door, you're just going to roll your eyes and go back inside. What a waste of time. What a bunch of losers the people in Mass Effect are. So there you go, irrefutable proof that Gears of War beats Mass Effect every time. Even in the sense of its name. Gears of War is so powerful, if I knew how to cry, I would. Mass Effect sounds like maths. No one likes maths. It's too hard. Miller out. Now I know you enjoyed that, so why don't you give a little something back to PC Games N and subscribe to the channel like the video, comment on the video, and then go share it on your social network of choice.